Welcome to Highway Homestead. Today I'm going to be taking our existing chicken tractor that I made for our meat birds last year and I will be converting it to something much lighter to be more, more maneuverable on this Memorial Day. There you go. Try saying that five times fast. Well, the roosters are crowing, got a rise and shine. Daylights are burning, ain't got a lot of time. When the day is over and the work's all done, we'll sing and dance and have a little fun. The first iteration of my chicken, chicken tractor, you can see is more like a John Skoskovich style. It has a frame, yeah, a door to walk through, yeah, it had chicken wire all the way around it, and I used tarps to protect them from rain and whatnot. And uh, we've moved this and allow the, the meat birds to eat the fresh gra grass, the fresh bugs, all that, from uh, the square footage of the inside of this. Uh, last year I did not have the amount of scrap lumber that I have this year, so I used what I had and made a large enough chicken tractor that gave each meat bird two square feet uh, as they became adults. We started out with roughly 60 meat birds, so this is a 10 by 12 chicken tractor. It was very heavy, very large. Courtney couldn't move it easily by herself up and down our property because our property is not flat. It is not uh, even, so my goal now is to make a lighter one. We only have roughly 50 meat birds at a time this time, so I can actually reduce the square footage to a 10 by 10. Fence wire, use it for everything. What are you gonna do, Kale? What is that? It's a brace. You're gonna hit it with that hammer and take it out? Alright, watch out, Madeline. You don't wanna get caught in the face. Good job. As you can see, we've almost got it taken apart. Courtney loves the amount of screws and nails I use. Courtney approved. Not. No. So now, there it is, disassembled. You can see Thor. Oh, and the power tool queen. It's a mess around here. All day. Now we have to make another one. Every day. Are you going to help me build it? It's not going to have any walls on this one. It's, base, it's only going to be used for the chickens for shade, for rain, for night, just to get under for some cover. Uh, we've actually got some new netting from Premier One that will work as the perimeter to keep uh, any sort of predator out, out of their uh, enclosure. So I'm going to start cutting and fabricating now. If any of this ever looks like you would want the uh, blueprint or whatever, just let me know. I keep them up here. Now, I have it put together mostly for the bottom. I'll still have to make uh, room for my wheels and a uh, pull bar to be able to actually lift it up and pull it. But so now I'm going to flip it over and uh, add tin to it, that, which is what I'm going to use to 
protect the chickens and chicks from uh, predators, from rain, etc. So here it is, right side up. Me and Courtney moved it back uh, further so I can drive the truck. But you can see I have it sitting here. It's about 20 inches from uh, the ground to the bottom of the two bys. And now I need to put tin on it. And here I've incorporated a little hold, uh, feed and water hold. It can hold, I guess, either two buckets of green, which is the silver bucket, or uh, and one bucket of water or two buckets of water and one grain feed or or three of each maybe four buckets of the water but this way it'll be with the chickens while they're up on the property eating uh, grass and stuff we won't have to carry uh, feed and water to them every day this is going to help it and uh, this was inspired by justin rhodes i feel like i've improved on the design a little bit but that's just my personal personal opinion we shall see now you can see that I have added a pull handle top deal to the uh, chicken shawl. I've added some wheels. Those are very janky wheels, but you got to use what you've got. I've used duct tape to hold those together. We've actually got some ordered, uh, or I'll use some old bicycle wheels. It doesn't really matter. It just makes it portable. Uh, I think this is, has some improvements to some, some that you've probably seen. Uh, for one, the feed and water holding area is now dead center so that it balances it out and uh, it'll actually help uh, make it easier to move with the uh, feed and water there. It'll help balance out the moments. Same thing with the wheels. I've got those on the inside versus the outside. Uh, when I have them, because they're on the inside, again, it uh, balances out the moment and they don't sway out as bad. And, uh, and it again makes it easier to pull. So now all I really have left to do is put up some, put some tin on it. It'll take roughly four widths of tin. I think I have 12 foot sections, so I'll probably get away with using three sheets by the time I cut it, uh, cut it to fit. So I will show you the finished product here in a few minutes. Now I have the tin on. It's not the best roofing job I've ever done, but uh, it's only for meat chickens and meat birds. Uh, enough to keep them out of the sun, out of the rain and elements, and away from predators from the sky. Uh, our netting will hopefully keep uh, out any predators through uh, from the ground. So now all I'm going to do is hit the edges with my angle grinder to get any sharp edges off so that it won't cut anyone. And then uh, it should be ready to go. Thank you for watching. See you next time. You're going uphill. Well, I know. That's what and you're doing it by yourself, unlike that last one. That's true. Uphill in this place, though, man. Oh. What do you think?